Hey y'all, I'm Amanda with Lovecraft Decor. In today's video, I wanted to show you a quick tutorial on how you can cut tiny lettering or thin lettering without your machine cutting up your letters as it's trying to cut them and also to make it easier when you are actually weeding your letters. So with this, all you'll need is a Cricut machine. I'm using a Cricut Explore Air 2 and I'm using a fine tip blade. And it's just a matter of changing the setting on your cutting machine that makes the world of difference. So I am currently making um, a ton of wedding signs, so I need this to be quick. I don't need a lot of struggle with trying to weed these letterings, so I just had to figure out a way to just get right through it. I just need it to be really quick, and I've actually done another wedding sign with even tinier lettering, so I'll show you an example of that now. So you'll see it has super tiny letters on it, and that one was a little bit more challenging, but it was still not nearly as bad as what I have had to deal with in the past of trying to cut tiny lettering. Um, I was able to weed that still super easy and it did not get rid of all my little pieces that I needed and pull up my lettering as I was cutting. So let's get over to the video and I will show you guys how to do it. Okay, so I'm in my design space and I have all my text ready to go. So I'm just gonna hit make it and I'm gonna spread out my text on how I need it to cut onto the piece of vinyl. So just make your adjustments as you need. I'm we'll just go down and hit continue. So now we'll go over to our Cricut machine and right now I have it set on vinyl but we will switch it over to this custom setting right here. So now you'll go back over to your design space and you'll see I already have the washi sheet favorited but you'll go over to your browse all materials and you'll go up to that search bar and you'll type in washi and it brings up your two items that you can choose from. I use the first one and you can hit that little star over there and that will favorite it if you're using this a lot as far as cutting tiny vinyl. So now that all that's set, all you'll need to do is press that cut button on your machine and it should start cutting. So now I'm gonna weed the rest of these and just show you guys um, just how much easier it is. Sometimes your letters may stick with your vinyl still, so you just have to be careful and just go slow with it and just be sure that your letters are staying in place. And just to make sure that um, in case I miss any letters that do come up with it and I don't happen to catch it as I'm doing this, I don't ball up my vinyl piece like this. That way I can check for letters or like commas and stuff that may have gotten um, lost as I was weeding. So it looks like all of my letters stayed put, but if any of my letters had stayed with this by mistake, then I leave it flattened out like this so I can look at it and pull that letter out and then place it where it needs to go. But once you know that you have all your letters, you can just disregard your excess vinyl. And now we're just going to weed out all of our centers. You'll see it done really well. These are super thin lettering that I use for this. My E centerpiece kind of got lost when I welded this. So, so this is how it looks. And you'll see it has all these thin pieces. And I'll do my bigger piece also just to show you guys. See how easy it was to weed this with all the thin lettering and my little dot stayed with um, this bottom part as well. So it's super easy and super quick. You don't have to struggle. And as far as what type of vinyl that I'm using, I'm using the Black Permanent Adhesive Sheets by Craftables. I will link um, this product in the description below if you are needing some black adhesive. This stuff does really well and it weeds really well also. So I'll link that down below for you guys if you are looking for a permanent black vinyl to use. And this is a matte black, so it's not shiny. So just changing that one setting makes a world of difference for cutting those tiny or thin lettering. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Leave me a comment down below if you have any questions, and I will see you guys on the next video.